Hi everyone, hi boxing fans. Um, this is Tony once again. Uh, just wanted to uh, really talk about Timothy Bradley, uh, the forgotten boxer, or should I say, the underrated man. Uh, you know, the the story of Timothy Bradley is a, is a crazy one because not too long ago, Timothy Bradley was fighting in England, fought in England, should I say, uh, against a gentleman called. Um, a gentleman called Junior Witter. Um, he actually won the uh, Junior Welterweight Championship belt, WBC, and beat Junior Witter in the process, winning the split decision. Also dropping Junior Witter in that fight. Um, he went on to do other good things in the Junior Welterweight division. Uh, in no particular order am I going to mention these fighters. Um, this is not in chronological order, but uh, he went on to fight guys like... Uh, Lamont Peterson, he went on to fight guys and beat Lamont Peterson, ended his uh, undefeated record, he beat guys like uh, Kendall Holt, you know, a guy who they say is one of the most powerful punches in the junior welterweight division, and beat um, and beat him very well, I wouldn't say convincingly because he, dropped, he was dropped twice, but he beat um, Kendall Holt, um, he went on to beat other, you know, notable opposition, he fought and beat uh, well Nate Campbell he did beat Nate Campbell in my eyes but it was uh, ruled as a uh, no contest because of accidental headbutts and as a result uh, Nate Campbell was um, received uh, medical received the medical attention because of his eyes excuse me it's very noisy out here um, he beat uh, he beat some other notable opposition. He beat um, De Devil Alexander, for example, ended his undefeated record. He's still relevant in boxing, alongside Lamont Peterson, who still happens to be relevant in boxing. Um, so this guy is is someone that I think is a very versatile fighter. Um, he's a guy that can fight inside and the outside. He seems to be the forgotten boxer. You know, people seem to just put him he's not on anyone's radar and it doesn't look really nice so um i think you know boxing fans should be a little bit more appreciative of timothy bradley and what he's done in the ring um he beat manny pacquiao in my opinion i felt he beat manny pacquiao maybe not in the most convincing manner but he beat manny pacquiao nonetheless and won that you know that split decision or whatever so I think that uh, boxing fans should really look at Timothy Bradley and um, th not have selective memory and think about what he's done in boxing prior to him even fighting Manny Pacquiao. How did he get to the Manny Pacquiao fight in the first place <laughs> if he didn't fight notable opposition before that and beat them? You know, this guy is a workhorse. He has a tremendous work ethic. He um, he can fight the inside. He can fight the outside. He's got great determination and a lot of his wins have come through determination and his great work ethic. He doesn't hit the hardest, but, you know, he does have, I would say, fairly decent punching power. You know, enough power to respect him, for you to respect him. In other words, he doesn't hit like Malinaji, for example. <laughs> so, uh, I think the jury is still out on Timothy Bradley. Um, his next fight is against someone called Prodnikov, an Eastern European fighter, um, Freddie Roach fighter, ironically, and I think he beats that guy and uh, wins the decision against him. Um, you know, Mayweather's fight in uh, Robert Guerrero, which is a very or fairly interesting fight. However, um, I think that. Uh, the fight with him and uh, Robert Mayweather and Robert Guerrero, the fight between the two, it's mainly because of marketing. The fact that Guerrero is obviously uh, a Mexican American, he can bring a large Mexican following because you know Mexicans are very very loyal to their Mexican boxers, and the fact that it's going to be in Cinco de Mayo or a day before Cinco de Mayo, I believe uh, May the fourth. So um, you know it's going to generate a lot on pay per view. So uh, that's the main reason why 
I don't. That's the main reason why I think he never fought Bradley just yet. But I hope that if Bradley is able to beat his next opponent, that I struggle to pronounce his name, he may be able to fight uh, Mayweather in September. So who knows? You know, things can change in a click of a finger in boxing. We know that we saw it against Manny Pacquiao and Juan Manuel Marquez. So. Um, like I said, give me your opinions. Tell me what you think about Timothy Bradley. Um, just look at what the guy's achieved, even at at the young age. You know, he's 29. He's still under 30, and yet he's been able to say, hey, I beat Manny Pacquiao. You know, he can say that. You know, he's beaten, he's ended people's streaks. You know, he's, ed he's had two undefeated fighters on his record that he beat, two notable undefeated re fighters. Devin Alexander and Lamont Peterson. Um, I mean, what more can you say? I mean, the guy has fought worthy opposition after worthy opposition after worthy opposition. He's been in tough fights and he's not taken the easy route out and he's prevailed. So, you guys, tell me what you think about Timothy Bradley and would it be would it have been a more interesting fight between Bradley and Mayweather? So um this Quab 20, subscribe to my page, comment, tell me what you think once again. You can follow me on Twitter at Boxing Blogster. Um peace.